Hi everyone, it's time for this week's edition of the Roar Report. We are looking at the week of February 21st through the 25th, and we are going to start with athletics. Um, the first thing I want to say is congratulations to the Tillamook Junior High girls basketball teams who all had winning seasons this year. That's awesome, and they have wrapped that all up. So um, we are now on to something new for the spring, which I'll get to in just a second. But we still have wrestling going strong. Districts will take place in Scapoose on Monday, February 21st. All wrestlers need to come to the junior high and be ready to load the bus this Monday, February 21st at 7.15 a.m. Please, wrestlers, make sure that you bring everything with you. You need to bring all of your gear with you and you need to take your own food because there will be no concessions um, at Scapu. So if you plan to be hungry, which I feel like most wrestlers are, um, you should bring something to eat with you. All right. Um, also, just thinking about sports right now, our next season will be track and that starts immediately following um, spring vacation. So you need to make sure and get signed up for that on Privet sometime soon. Um, it's a really great time for sixth through eighth graders, boys and girls compete at the same time, same season. Um, fun time, lots of opportunities to try different events. So we hope to have a great, big, huge turnout for um, track this year. All right, other things that we have going on. This is just a reminder that Monday, February 21st is President's Day, so there will be no school that day, um, so enjoy your four-day weekend. Um, we also have Act in Kindness still going. It's the month of February. Our Act in Kindness to students this coming week will be to serve hot cocoa in the mornings to classes. So um, each discovery class will have um, an opportunity to come in to the cafeteria during the week and get served their hot chocolate. Um, I think that a lot of kids are looking forward to that. It's kind of a fun little treat in the week. Uh, also this week, big thing is that grade checks are happening. If you have a student who is failing any class with a D or an F, um, you can expect to have uh, some sort of communication come home from your discovery teacher. So that could be a phone call, an email, or a remind. But um, we feel it's really important to partner with parents and stay in good communication about uh, grades. So. Be, oh, hopefully you're not looking for the phone call, um, but <laughs> hopefully your kids are passing everything, but just in case they're not, you will be getting um, some sort of communication this week. And that's really important because coming up soon on March 11th, we have our second evening dance of the year, and that is our glow dance. And it's super fun. It will be March 11th. That is 7 to 9 p.m. But Students must be passing with C's or above all classes to be able to go to that dance. So it's nice to have a little early forewarning on that so that kids can um, get their stuff together and get their grades up so that they can participate in fun things like that. The other thing I wanted to talk about is Alder Lane in the morning. I know that um, this is a really busy area with e-school right across the street. Uh, as a reminder, our doors open at 7.50 in the morning. Our staff is on duty starting at 7.45 in the morning. So if kids are dropped off before 7.45, um, there is not supervision in front of the school. And that can make for some kind of tricky road crossing. And so if you are dropping off your kids before there is supervision, it would be really helpful if um, you dropped your East kids off at East School and the junior high kids here. And that's just because walking across Alder Lane can be a little dicey um, and we want kids to be safe so dropping them off on the correct side of the road is helpful if it happens before 7 45 in the morning before we have our crossing guards out all right everyone um, I hope you have a fabulous weekend it's a four-day weekend for you it is a great day to be a lion